Who doesn't love a good day off, going to the beach with the hubby? The only thing that can make it better is finding treasures. Today I'm here in Seaside, Oregon, and I want to give a huge shout out to Melissa. Thank you so much for inviting me to your antique store. I can't wait to go check out what kind of treasures there are. I have been on the hunt for one of these Levi jackets. This one looks like a nice vintage one, but it's so tiny. It is an extra small. Let's see how much they're asking for this. $34. This is something that would sell at the Portland Flea for like $80. That is a fabulous deal. If only it was my size. This tool leather bag is kind of neat. Look at the closure on here. That's kind of fun. Let's see how much this one is. This one is $18, and I know a couple of the booths have 20% off sales, so I might take this one up front and see if it is on sale. It's a really cute one, I really like that part. In the Navy, back in the Vietnam War, I worked on nuclear submarines. Oh, wow. Oh, it was cool, I had so, you were oh cool. man, it was just, I tell you, what I lived the job. charmed life. Yeah, hey, that's the goal for all of us, isn't it? Yeah, I like your eyes. Think so. This rug down here, it looks like it's pretty large. It's got a price tag of 150 on it. And it's got really unique colors because the main color in it is this beige. And then it has this thicker area on the outside. It's interesting, I think somebody might have hand pieced this together. And it's got my favorite thing, critters. So I'm going to do a little bit of digging on this and see if I can get this pulled out. Cause I'd love to show you guys this whole rug. This one's really beautiful. It's got that faded look I like. And it is $20. I think I'm going to pass on that one. I love coming into these side rooms like this where it's very dark. Because this is where all the best treasures always are hiding. That little beaded purse is kind of adorable. These are so perfect for if you need to take your vitamins on the road or just extra change or bobby pins. Chapstick. <laughs> Multi-purpose. And this little guy's missing his little cork usually they have a little cork there this is the first time that I've ever seen these tooled leather gun cases I've seen the purses I've even seen luggage but I've never seen a gun case I've even seen a bowling bag because Selena got me one for Christmas last year I'm really hoping that I can find some art I've struck out the last few times that I've been out antiquing and I'm looking for something original now she's really beautiful think that this is an original sketch. I really love pencil sketches and charcoal sketches. It's got a signature there. She's $45. This guy's pretty cool. What on earth is he? Look at this king, you guys. I thought it was a lamp at first, but it doesn't seem to have a light bulb. What does it say? Metal art mask. Cool. $45. Huh. That really is cool. This could be really great if you had an awesome pair of earrings and you wanted to display them. Just have that on your dresser. That'd be hilarious. This owl is interesting. I thought it was Mexican pottery, but now I'm not so sure. It might be Peruvian. This thing looks ancient. Wow. That's a really neat elephant. I've never seen one like that before. Now that is a cool frog planter. Whenever 
there is a display that's all one color. It always catches my eye. I think it's such a beautiful way to display things. And I really like this little guy. It looks like a piece of stoneware. And it is signed. Cute. Love this one. How much is it? Signed pottery, $8. I'm going to pick that baby up. Whoa. This looks like a giant saddle blanket. It's double-sided, which is interesting. $149. Yeah, it's like one of those giant grain sacks. You could make the biggest pillow ever with that thing. I think I'm entering in my little boho heaven. Oh my goodness. And it's even got black walls. Oh wow, you guys. This space is so good. Okay, let me set the tripod up because I'm going to go cray in here. I might need to get this rattan anchor for my sister-in-law. I think that would be so cute in her beach house. Here's one of the pigs right here with the cork in its nose. It's so funny. I found a pair of these in Nebraska on the junk jaunt at one of the garage sales. Pretty obsessed with this little bronze sculpture with the birds. It's really neat because some of the birds are ceramic, but then some of them are in the cast bronze. This would be so sweet in a little girl's nursery. <gasps> Here's one of my Frederick Weinberg style horses. Oh my gosh. Oh, they know. They know. $50. Darn. I really like the design on it. Anytime there's any kind of an animal, that's like the selling point for me. This one's really unique because it's got the two different types of woven texture. It's thinner in the center area. And the fringe is in good condition. Yeah, I think I'm going to take it. That's exciting. This is definitely the find of the day today. <laughs> this elephant's just kicking back, having a good old time. He's got his bow tie on and his rocking chair. Oh my goodness. This is gorgeous. <gasps> Loving this piece of pottery. Signed pottery, $29. What does that say? R, R. Mm, that's too hard to read. Really like the design on this one, though. It's a nice large size. <gasps> and there you go. Boom, done. Thunderbird. Getting that. I can just see it now. The Tosi Bull, Lisa Larson, Afghan Hound, Lisa Larson Fox. Where are you? <laughs> I love these Zuni earrings right here. It looks like it's 89 or 80. Yeah, 89 on them, which is too steep for me, but those are so gorgeous. Look at this ring here. It's like the size of a dinner plate. Let's see, it's 129. That is stunning. Wow, look at these Zuni earrings here. I don't wear the round ones very often. Do any of you guys? I don't know why. I think I like dangly earrings. Wow, they've got some really incredible pieces here. Look at these crosses. That one looks like that's amethyst, I think, in there. Wow. And a little deer. Yeah, this person's probably been collecting a long time. This is a really fabulous bowl. Michael Simon Bull, ceramic artist, Athens, Georgia. Salt-fired work. His work can be found in many museums, 269.75. He was born in 1847. That's pretty amazing. Crushing on that picture. Look at the colors together, that blue and that green. It's like a jadeite green. Favorite color combo right there. Holy Lucite Magnificence, what are you? $23. I don't know what you are, but you're coming home with me. This is, oh, it's glass. It's not even lucite. One way that you can tell the difference between glass and lucite is the glass is a lot colder, especially 
in a room this temperature right now. That is fabulous. Definitely getting this. $23. Let's make sure it's not new. Nope. Definitely not new. No, no Bieber. No like Biebs for me. Oh my gosh. Like Moe's the restaurant here? Yeah. Cute. I like the color of this jean jacket. You can get these little mushroom salt and pepper shakers. They do not have a stamp, but they are teak and they're 30% off of $16. Hey, these are very similar to a pair of candle holders I just got with like a crushed turquoise stone in the center. These ones are Israeli. That's funny because mine are made in Taiwan and when I got them, I thought they looked like Israeli candle holders. Look what it is, you guys. These are never going to stop haunting me. It's just like the Penguin ice bucket. Those things are addicting. Yeah, those are my favorite. Next door, I was looking at one of these porcelain pieces and I was wondering if it was this Kaiser mid-century. And then this one actually is. $36.50, that's a really good price. I think these go on Etsy for like $150, $200. Why would they make them out of leather? Yeah, that one's got some very lifelike looking abs. <laughs> <laughs> What's up with the Santa hats? Don't forget to look up. It just started to rain and this is the perfect time to call it quits for the day. I had a wonderful time here in Seaside. I hope you guys had fun hanging out with me and I will see you guys in a brand new picking adventure next week. This piece of pottery was really neat because I liked the southwestern design that it had here on the one side and then when I flipped it around and I saw the Thunderbird, I was completely sold. If you've followed me for a long time, you know that I love Thunderbirds. Whenever you're picking up pottery, always look at the bottom and see if you can find a stamp or a signature. That means it's a handmade piece and it was not mass produced. I am making up for not getting those salt and pepper shakers in Longview a few episodes back. And these guys are really cute because they look almost like little mushrooms. They are solid teak. They have the stoppers in the bottom, which is nice because it's not always the case when you find them thrifted. Now the only hard part is I have to decide if I'm going to keep them and start a teak salt and pepper shaker collection or if I need to let them go. I don't know what I'm gonna do. This was kind of fun to find because I just learned last week about these pine needle baskets and then I come across one with an actual pine cone on the top still in perfect condition. This one's really neat because it's got this green color on it too. I am a sucker for pottery. That's one of the things that I probably pick up the most. You'll probably notice if you followed me for a while, but I got this guy for only $8. And then this one was 20, I believe. And I have not been able to figure out the signature on the bottom of this one, but I'm not gonna give up. I'm gonna keep searching. Either way, it's a really beautiful piece. Anytime you see something that's unique that you've never seen before, that's the key of when to pick it up. Another thing that you're always gonna see me pick up if it's a reasonable price are tooled leather bags. These sell really well in my online shop and this one was extra fun because of the clasp right here.
When I first spotted this, I thought it was made out of lucite. These were very popular back in the 60s and 70s, and there was an artist named Dorothy Thorpe who did a lot of lucite pieces, but this is actually glass. And one tip on how to tell the difference between lucite and glass is to touch it, especially if you're in a colder place. And if it's warm or room temperature, it's most likely lucite, but if it's got that cold feel like a piece of stone would have, it's probably glass. And please comment below if you have any other pro tips on how to tell the difference between lucite and glass. Nothing can come in the house without first getting Lorenzo approved. What do you think, buddy? Is it a keeper? But without a doubt, my favorite find of the day has to be this rug. I can't wait to throw this out on the floor and show you guys all of the beautiful designs and colors in it. A lot of times antique stores will do a discount if you spend a certain amount of money. So I thought since this was $150, it was worth asking at the front desk to find out if there was a discount. A lot of times places will do a dealer discount of maybe around 10%. She sent a text off to the dealer while I kept shopping, but unfortunately he didn't get back to her before I checked out. So I ended up paying $150 for the rug. But I went down the street and did a little more antique shopping. And when I came back to pick up my items that I had purchased, the dealer had gotten back to her and he said he was willing to sell it for $100. So I ended up getting this beautiful rug for only $100, which is an absolute steal. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me at the Oregon Coast today. Don't forget to subscribe because I'm gonna be doing a lot more episodes where I'm gonna be going on little road trips here and there. And I'm even thinking about doing an entire Highway 101 of the Oregon Coast Tour, a grand tour. How does that sound, you guys? I'm just gonna wait for a little bit warmer weather and then I'm gonna hit the road and take you guys with me. Just kidding, the video is not over because guess what, I had to go back. I regretted not getting this piece and I could not stop thinking about it. So I had to do another trip to the beach and this time it was sunny and I got to hang out with my sisters. <music> I am so glad that I did not get the vase the first time and then I went back because I scored all of these incredible jewelry pieces. These had just gotten put out in a new jewelry case the day before I went back with my sisters. So they were not there the first time that I went into the store. Look at this one. That's a beautiful blue and green azurite stone. Oh my gosh, it looks like the earth. It is so stunning. And then this baby I'm keeping for myself. It is so beautiful. The rest of these are going to be coming to my March 5th, First Friday sale. And I've got a ton of incredible turquoise jewelry, so you guys are not going to want to miss this one. This is why I had to keep this one for myself, because it is a perfect fit. I love this ring so much. It's so fun when you pick up a piece while you're on vacation, because then every time you look at that piece, you'll remember that fun trip that you had. Okay, I couldn't help myself. I was trying to save all of these beauties to show you guys um, in my upcoming promotional trailer for my next shop sale, but I couldn't help it. I started digging and I'm so excited. I have so many incredible pieces that are gonna be coming to the shop. I got lions here, I got rams, I got hands, I got beautiful ladies, I got an octopus. I got all the critters and all the turquoise. I got some bears over here. So this is just a glimpse of some of the incredible pieces that are gonna be coming to my next shop sale. So put it in your calendar because pieces go fast. Thank you.
you guys so much for hanging out with me today. If you want to shop my vintage finds, I list my brand new vintage the first Friday of every single month on my website, leftcoastrevivals.com. And if you want to follow me on Instagram, it's at leftcoastrevivals. And don't forget to hit the thumbs up and subscribe. I know it's cheesy, but it helps my channel a lot and I am super grateful for all the support. I will see you guys in a brand new adventure next week.